In this problem, we're subtracting the second polynomial from the first. With the negative sign in front, that means we'll need to distribute the subtraction through the polynomial. That means each of the terms will become the opposite sign that they are, so that the first term will become negative, the second and third terms will be positive, and the fourth term will become negative. Because the first polynomial has no symbol in front, we may drop the parentheses there. So it just becomes 9x cubed minus 6x squared minus 11x minus 4. But here's where we now have a minus 4x cubed, a plus 8x squared, a plus 13x, and a minus 5 when we take the opposite symbol in front of each of our terms. At this point now, we can combine like terms. For example, we've got a 9x cubed and a minus 4x cubed. So we can group those together. So we'll have the 9x cubed and a minus 4x cubed grouped together. And then we have a six, negative 6x squared and a positive 8x squared. So minus 6x squared plus 8x squared to group those like terms together. Our x terms are minus 11x and plus 13x. And finally, our constant terms are minus 4 and minus 5. Combining like terms, 9 minus 4 is 5x cubed. A negative 6 plus 8 is plus 2x squared. Negative 11 plus 13 is plus 2x. And finally, minus 4, or negative 4 minus 5, is minus 9. And so in this case, then we have 1x cubed term, 1x squared, 1x, and 1 constant term. So there are no more like terms. So this would be the simplified form after completing the subtraction of these polynomials.